Hi and welcome, I'm Andreas. This is part two of my bunk bed build. In this part, I'm going to glue up the head and foot parts of the bed. I'm going to do a lot of precision routing for the bed hardware. And there's one emotional moment for you in store. So let's get going, come on in and let's get on with the build. So I'm going to make this mortises bigger and then I'll do the test fit and hopefully then the top and bottom pieces will go together nicely. Okay, now the moment of truth, test fit. deeper or some obstacle has to be removed but it doesn't look too bad This will be a fairly tricky thing here with the router. The idea is to use the router like this. And then carefully lower it down, probably like this, to the lower mark. I can't think of any other way to do it because I would have, well, normally you would like to put the router like this. But um, in that case, I'd have to stand these things up and obviously they're two meters tall, so they'd be up here. I can't work there. So this is the only idea I had. It's not ideal and it's certainly tricky, but I hope it'll work out.
only putting in two screws because I have to take out all this hardware again for oiling. So at the moment it's just for testing, no need to put in all the screws. Very sturdy. Yeah. F hell, it fits. <laughs> it fits. Ah, guy. I need to drill eight millimeter holes and it's hard to really align them with the markings that I've made. So I drill two and a half millimeter pilot holes first, which is much easier to place in these little circles that I've made. And the pilot hole will then guide the eight millimeter drill bit exactly in the position that the pilot hole has. Well, now is the big moment, glue up. I always get a bit nervous when glue up comes about because, well, gluing things together means that they're not going to come apart easily. And many hours have gone into preparing this stock. So 
you don't want to mess up. But, well, you have to glue it up, otherwise the project's not going to be finished. So, let's go and try it. Now, all the pieces are prepared for the first coat of oil. There's going to be two coats of boiled linseed oil. And what remains to be done for me is to build the letter and to actually, well, design the letter because I have only thought roughly about it. It's going to be at a slight angle. It's going to have four steps, um, but not just rungs, but real steps. So I have to think about that and I have to prepare some metal hardware. Um, which I got from a local metal shop to attach the front railing and to attach the ladder. All this comes up in part three of this video. So this concludes part two. Again, I learned a couple of things. If you're interested in that, click the video next to me. And I'd really appreciate if you subscribe so you don't miss the part three and all the other upcoming videos. And I... Thank you a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you then. Bye-bye.